Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra, and today we're talking about syncing up audio inside of Premiere Pro. And I decided to do this tutorial because I was editing my Subnautica videos, and I noticed there was something hinky here. Um, I clicked on these two audio tracks along with the video track, and I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, something in right here, uh-oh. Um, it would appear that my, uh, when I started recording some of my commentary audio with the Elgato game capture software, that, uh, well, some of it kind of gets recorded even when I don't press the record button. There's some extra stuff here, like, uh, uh, how many minutes is that? It's like a good 10 minutes of extra stuff at the start of this episode of Subnautica. So I need to figure out the best way to sync that stuff back up. So let's bring this back to the end of our audio. Let's actually mute the top layer of audio because this uh, this is my game sound. And this other track down here is my commentary sounds, because the Elgato Game Capture Recorder down here has the ability to capture all the audio tracks separately. But uh, we need to spend a little bit of time down here synchronizing everything. So the easiest way, once the Elgato settles down, it's hopping mad for some reason, um, the easiest way is to simply look for similar waveforms. When you click on the side here, next to mute and uh, solo track buttons, it'll expand the track so that you can see what these audio waveforms look like. So what we want to do is we want to sync up my uh, commentary audio with the end of this raw, unedited audio, and this is when I'm talking. Uh, the rest of it's when the game is saying words. So let's see how well it synced up when I just lined it up to the end of the track. So it, even though it ends right here, the audio isn't lining up all that well, so let's put our cursor right here in the front of this last little hump in the waveform, and then let's grab this bottom track and drag it over so that the two humps more or less line up and then we can zoom way in here and see how well it does or does not sync. And it looks like it's pretty close. I actually want to pull it over uh, this little waveform to line up with this little one. So we'll grab that and drag it over. And this is basically what you're gonna do if you want to synchronize pretty much any audio in Premiere Pro. There's really not a better way to do this other than to um, use a program that syncs it for you when it records, but not every program is perfect. So now we need to check to see if this other bad boy is also synced up to any extent. And it looks like the background noise ends off about here which leaves us with like a two second delay or so um, in the game audio file. So we find that right down here is where this one ends. The upper level one ends right about th 30 minutes, um, two, s two, or, yeah, two minutes and 13 milliseconds. Um, so let's drag this over here. That's oh, a little too far, a little further back. There we go. That's that's good enough. You don't need to be perfect. Most people on the internet probably won't notice a microseconds difference in their game audio. Unfortunately, it looks like some of the audio is a little out of sync still at the front. So if your audio is still a little bit out of sync, like right here, where it looks like the audio drifted a little bit, you grab these two separate um, arrows that point in each direction. It's called the Rate Stretch Tool. And you select the track that you want, and you can actually stretch the audio to better fit your where you want it, in essence. Let's actually zoom in here a little further. 
And so this can actually allow us to cheat a little bit and manually sync the audio by stretching it just a smidge. So that again, the images of the waveforms, even though this bottom one here, this bottom audio track I've edited so that it sounds better, um, raw voice audio tends to have a lot of background noise. But um, this is the one that I've edited so that it, it's got all that schmiggles removed. And now it looks like most of the audio is lining up pretty well. So you just gotta line up the waveforms, make sure that the game audio is lined up as well, and then once you're done, make sure that you don't need to do any audio stretching. Um, what, what can affect this? Um, sometimes when games are recording, the frame rate dips down a bit, and when the frame rate fluctuates, Usually the audio um, rate of recording doesn't because audio is a bit more efficient. It's a bit more hardwired for a system. It's kind of cut and dry. And that's when you run into um, audio synchronization discrepancies. Uh, if you want to see a group of people who have a lot of those issues, uh, you look at anyone who records retro gaming consoles in like an emulator. Those games can definitely have a lot of frame rate problems, but there could be other things that cause it, but this is more or less how you resync your audio. And then I'll just dice this stuff up here to get rid of the extra. I don't need the default unedited audio anymore, so I'll unlink that, and then I'll move up my um, clean audio, and there we go. I have an episode of Subnautica, or maybe that's two episodes. Might be two. I forget. And then we throw my general purpose intro in the front of it after it's done auto-saving. Always remember, kids at home, to save early and often, uh, and turn on your auto-save features if it's available. Mine automatically saves my game projects or my video projects. Um, once every 20 minutes, if it's a really important project, I might bring that down to once every 15 to 10. Come on, don't be such a snaggletooth. Premiere. This is why we can't have nice things, you janky bastard. Alright, then we'll grab my general purpose intro that I made. We will trim it up by selecting the negative space and hitting delete. And there we have it, a nicely synced up game. Oh, actually, one last thing. Um, the game audio in Subnautica is a little quiet, so I boost it by three decibels so that people at home can hear the lovely relaxing waves and murder fish as they come try to touch my booty. Yeah, that worked out just fine. We can trim off the edge where my audio ends at the end of the episode, and I'm ready to export uh, episodes four through seven of my Subnautica adventures. Isn't that handy dandy? So that's it for this one, guys. Um, let me know if you have any questions or tips for other people who might be having trouble syncing their audio or fixing it. Sometimes you don't have the, um, the benefit of the original audio to help sync it back up. If not, you're going to have to find like a point in your game where like you shoot a gun or something and you have to line up the, the pop of the audio when the gun goes off to the point in the video where it also explodes. So yeah, that's it for this one, guys. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let me know if there's any other kinds of topics that you'd like me to cover for video tutorials. Otherwise, uh, don't be a stranger. Come by and say howdy on my game channel, the Larry Chupacabra channel, where I do things like play Subnautica and review indie games and such. And I'll catch you all next time. Have a good one, and toodaloo.